Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another game of Popper. We are playing some beasts, and oh, the we only have two Tranquil Thickets in the deck. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Can I get back on track with this hand? Oh, no, the Arbor Elf can't untap these. Ah. It's three mana on by turn three, I guess. I can go... Wirewood Savage, I guess, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this one back. Okay, this is better. No auras, well, except for Elephant. Actually, this is fine. This is a fine hand. Uh, what are we putting back? Um, oh, I really want to put back a land. It seems kind of greedy though, but I think we're gonna go for it. We're on the play, which helps. We get to go for Orgnarlid. They don't kill our Arbor Elf. That is. But that's pretty unlikely. And then Orgnar Elephant Guide is... Oh, no. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> oh, how much greed do I want here? Uh, I guess I should go for the Wirewood Savage. Looks like I'm going to be discarding a lot, so... It's probably worth it. Go for... Wirewood Savage into hopefully Primal Hunt Beast the following turn, maybe discarding Elephant Guide. And hopefully they don't have removal for the Wirewood Savage and we can kind of outpace the discard. Hmm. I'll have to see what this is. Ooh. Oh, nice combo. Loving it. Okay. All right, Elephant Guide, goodbye. Oh, and wow, nice, very nice combo. Okay, hopefully we get another land here, because right now Orgnarlid not doing too, too much. Very cool start for them though, so far. And I will opt to not <laughs> throw my Wirewood Savage into there. Even though it would technically trade with either of their creatures, I feel like we can get much more value out of it. Drain Pipe Ferdinand. Okay, so this is a cool Aristocrats deck. I'm digging it. Huh. All right, well, we're going to discard the Voracious Typhon. I feel like we should be crushing this deck, though. <laughs> if, our, um, if our hand had been a little bit more cooperative. What are they putting it on? The Drain Pipe Vermin. Okay. Gonna get in? Just the Bone Picker. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, Ancestral Mask. All right. Let's play Orinarlid. <laughs> okay, so the Drain Pipe Vermin can't block my Aura Gnarlid, and I'll happily trade with a Mortician Beetle. Yeah, they just take it. Makes sense. And yeah, I mean, this Drain Pipe Vermin will make me discard a good chunk of my hand there, but I'm managing to stay ahead on board thanks to this Wirewood Savage. It's drawn me two cards already. Another Cry of Contrition. I guess we're discarding the Ancestral Mask. Yes? Okay. And they chose to haunt... Oh, Okay, there goes my hand. <laughs> Don't see that Cry of Contrition very often. They get to refuel. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, more? Wirewood Savage is still in play, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Voracious Typhon, kind of far away here. And I don't really want to attack into a Mortician Beetle, unfortunately, so I guess I will just pass. I might chump with an Orgnarlid, as crazy as that is. Mm 
Yeah, leaving behind the mortician beetle. Interesting. Maybe they're just drawing uh, a lot of lands here. It seems like they probably don't play that many lands. What's this? Oh, gonna wait till my draw step. <laughs> Make me discard instant speed. This is spicy. Holy moly, funeral charm. <laughs> Well, Ancestral Mask, I guess Ancestral Mask would have been not bad. It would have pumped my Orgnar lids. Um, but yeah, I'm still not comfortable getting in for damage here. Utopia Sprawl would be great. Then I could pump both my Orgnar lids, and uh, I'd be almost at a point where I could get uh, Voracious Typhon in there. It'd be at 5 mana instead of 2 mana, or 3 mana. Another Steward, okay. Down to 8. I mean, I, I've been getting tempoed out pretty nicely here. Though, yeah, this is not working out for me. Not one bit. I just need to draw, like, a beast, though, and I'd be... Or, <laughs> that's a Utopia Sprawl, or let me keep an Ancestral Mask or something, and I'll be looking a lot cozier. Yep, down to five I go. Is there a world where I win this match anymore? There's the wild growth. Let's put that there. It grows the gnarlids. I suppose we'll get in with both. Vicious offering. Okay. And grow one, eat the other. Nicely done. I do have a big voracious typhon next turn though, right? That's two, four, six, seven. But I'm yeah, I'm just dead. Let's scoop it up. I would have drawn blasted her. Yeah, not gonna do it. Alright. Yeah, I got a little bit unlucky there, but overall. Um it's about as expected, I suppose. Serrated Arrows, probably not good enough. Relic, I mean, they could be running something. I didn't see anything worth exiling their graveyard for. I think Ram Throughs are going to be quite good. Cartouche of Strength could also be quite good as well. We can see, we seem, seems like we can go pretty tall without many issues. So maybe we want to bring in like the removal and like hex proof package. Uh, Voracious Typhon might also... It seems like this is the matchup for it, right? Um, as you saw, we were a little bit mana screwed, so getting that 7 mana was a bit tough. We weren't that far away, though. Wirewood Savage kind of overperformed and, and kind of held us in that game a little bit longer than we maybe should have, but... Hmm. What do we cut, though? Is the issue... Hmm. Maybe we don't go for the ram throughs and we just keep the cartouche of strength and ancestral masks. Let's cut, I think, wirewood, uh, blastoderm, and, um, maybe another blastoderm. I feel like those, these guys are just gonna get blocked like crazy. In fact, maybe it's better to keep the wirewood savage and go down on these blastoderms here. Let's go with that. Opponent's deck is really cool. I really dig it. Um, hand doesn't do much. No creatures to play other than blastoderm on turn four. I don't really want to mulligan against this deck, and this, this is, you know, relatively keepable, I suppose. We draw any three drop, we're fine. We draw any more ramp, we're okay. We draw lands, we're fine. Still a turn three blasted room is nothing to sneeze at. Even if we end up with a, a bunch of things we can't uh, we can't use. <laughs> okay. All right. That'll do. I might actually go for the voracious typhon here. Third opponent discards two cards. We're going to discard three cards? Two, three? Hmm. I guess I'm discarding Typhon. Jeez. 
elephant guide cartouche. Yeah, I don't really think I have a choice here because I need to I need to play a creature. Wow, that was brutal. Let's go wild growth and blasted urm and hope we don't get chump locked into oblivion here. We are out of gas, but we do have five mana. It's only two away from the Typhon. Hmm. So really, any draw is a good draw. Oh, gonna make me discard. I don't know about this. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't know about this one. It feels bad, but they're trading one for one for me. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's worth it, honestly, but meh. Gonna take the five? Nope, gonna chump. Gonna make me uh, discard my card again? No. Well, it's a land. One away from uh, Voracious Typhon here. Wait, is it five cards though? Four. So one, two, three. I'm one card short of being able to uh, bring it back with escape. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Blast that are going to the graveyard will eventually get there. Okay, full price. Blast. Uh, full price bone picker. Two, four, six. So let's play the forest. And uh, I'm going to get in with a Blastoderm, and uh, I hope they trade. They don't. Okay, fair enough. So Blastoderm is going to go to the graveyard, and I'll just cast Voracious Typhon. Depending on what I draw, obviously. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's fine. Let's go Utopia Sprawl on green. <sighs> One, two, three, and four. Done. All right, that's a seven-seven Typhon. It's bigger than a Gurmog Angler, that's for sure. Might be able to hold back both of these creatures all by itself. Nope. Opponent gets in. All right. Well, definitely blocking the Angler here. Okay, I'm going to defile. Oh boy, we're getting just absolutely crushed. Yikes. Yeah, opponent's deck was sweet. We're not completely out of it. Like, if I if I draw Ancestral Mask, we might actually have a shot. What's that, 2, 4, 6? I'd be a 12, 12 or a Gnarled. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was just a, just just small enough to get hit with this. Wow, what a cool deck! Ah, uh, well that's it, folks. Man, what a shame. Yeah, we just got just tempoed out just enough for them to to you know wreck us with Gormog anglers and bone pickers. So hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. <laughs>